Hello, welcome to this next Spotlight program here at the Dubai Air Show. I'm in the Vista startup area and I've spotted something rather interesting. We're going to find out from its chief executive and founder, Lucas Marcassini, what it's all about. Hello, thanks Hello. for coming. Thank you. So here we have our product. This is an aircraft, it's a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The peculiarity of this aircraft is that it can take off from the back garden of your house and take you exactly where you need to go without going to the airport and having to travel so much. Very good. Okay, so let's see, what we develop here is a platform. It means it's all the technology that is behind this type of vehicles. So in this case, we have the first vehicle, which is a two-seater, as you can see here. It's a canard configuration. There are uh, uh, electric ducted fans in the fuselage, under the wings, and uh, in, the tail, in the tail. So when it has to take off vertically, the ducted fans under the wings tilt and they generate vertical force together with the ones in the fuselage. When it's uh, already at altitude, then it transitions to normal airplane flight so that it can fly only with, uh, with the fans under the, under the wings and the others are switched off. So in this case, we have here the cabin, two seaters, the fans under the wings. The wing is also a fuel tank because the propulsion of the, of the aircraft is done with a hybrid system. So it means we have a gas turbine with connected to a generator which generates the power to, uh, to activate the, the electric ducted fans. Plus, we have the batteries. And here below, we have the batteries. And so it's more or less like a hybrid car. But obviously, the, the strategy of using the hybrids, uh, the, the different uh, power supplies, has to be optimized for an aircraft. Lucas, tell us about the status of the program itself, please. Well, we flew the one-third scale model last year, in December last year. It's exactly like this one, the brother of this one, and we use it for the development of flight computer. Now we are completing the design of the one-to-one -one scale, so the real aircraft, and it will be flying at the end of next year. We'll have two prototypes at the end of next year. After this phase, then we will uh, look at for uh, certification and industrialization. It will take, certification will take at least two years, realistically and then we can go and uh, offer this to whoever wants to fly it. Well, this is the first time we go uh, international and we are really surprised by the reaction we had. A lot of interest and uh, actually maybe it's because of the, of the performance of the aircraft, which are uh, quite unique. You cannot fly with many aircraft that, uh, of this type, of EVTOLs, at 300 kilometers per hour for almost 1,000 kilometers. So this is uh, what is attracting and the people are asking for this. We had also some uh, military pilots coming by and uh, some of them want one. They want to fly one. 